President Teresa Tubles. Thank you, Loretta. What we wanted to do is kind of give you an overview of how this came about. When the Tubbles Brewer Administration took office in 2008-2010, I realized that our 1980 Tribal Council resolution saying the Black Hills are not for sale was just sitting there idle. There was no type of action taken at all. So talking to the council, the Tribal Council and my staff, we decided to bring it forward because we felt that this is really an important issue. Our ancestors wanted the Black Hills back and we needed to do something about it. With that resolution, we went to the Great Plains Tribal Chairmen's Association, which is the tribal chairman of uh, North Dakota and South Dakota and Nebraska. And they, they approved the resolution and they said to go forward with it. On our visit to President Obama's staff, President Obama sent us the message that he would consider visiting with us and discussing the return of the Black Hills, but we had to all be united. All the tribes involved who signed the 1868 treaty had to be involved. So that was our, our mission, was to start getting the tribes involved. We started meeting on, at Greengrass, where the uh, uh, Chinupa, sacred Chinupa is held, it's kept. And we had our first meeting there and we went to all the reservations except for Spirit Lake and Fort Peck. But they all came together. We invited the elderly to hear what they had to say, what they wanted to see done with the once the lands are returned, and also the youth. So it was a joint effort from everybody, the IRA government, the treaty government, the traditional people, everybody involved. And then once we left office in 2010, it got, went idle again. But during that time, the Great Plains Tribal Chairman established an alliance group, which Loretta was part of. And they, I asked, I told Loretta, I said, let's just go forward. We're not involved in uh, tribal government. Uh, we need to go forward. We need to help our traditional people, our treaty people, to go forward on this. And so that's where we are today. And we met some very interesting, caring people who helped us to get this forward today. And what we're trying to do is set up a training session next week to hire some people and some mobilizers in every reservation to go to their reservations and, and unite the people and bring them together so we can come up with the land management plan on what we're gonna do with the lands once we get them returned. And there was a lot of issues that they wanted. They wanted to address how education, a university within that land where our Native American students will have free tuition to get their education in whatever field they want. They talked about environment, the air, health, every issue they could think of they brought together. And so we're trying to get all this together. That's why we're doing this. Today and tomorrow we want awareness brought, like I stated earlier, globally. So hopefully everybody with prayer help us so that we can get this accomplished. So that's the purpose of this concert and I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart to all the performers who are going to be performing today to help us with this awareness. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts and I love you all. Thank you. Oh.